Hello, guys. Hello. Hi, Jorge. Hi, Hello. William. Vane. Hello, Claudia. Teacher. Sonia. Margarita. Hello. So now, uh, well, today, uh, we're going to start, well, we will continue working with a little bit of be going to with the practice, right? And I saw your answers on the on the platform. Ya vi sus respuestas en la plataforma. Entonces, vamos a seguir trabajando con eso. Vamos a trabajar también con WH Questions. Quiero saber cómo le fue el trabajo en la plataforma antes que comencemos. ¿Cómo lo sintieron? Easy? Difficult? So, so. So, so. ¿Por qué? ¿Cómo lo sintió? Dígame. Good night, Miss. Good night. Good evening. ¿Por qué so, so? ¿Cómo lo sintió? Feo, difícil. Dígame. No tenga es, pena. Uh, lo voy a hacer en español. Ajá. <laughs> Es que en la parte de, a mí es que me cuesta, pero realmente están muy buenos los ejemplos de la plataforma, pues. Pero en la parte de, de por ejemplo, cuando respondemos en el complemento, a mí me cuesta bastante, porque quizás uh -huh. no me sé mucho los verbos, porque tengo que investigar más. Aunque yo quiero formar la oración, pero el complemento es el que me cuesta un poco. Le cuesta por el vocabulario. Tenemos que practicar bastante vocabulario para Ajá. tener más información. Ajá. Entonces siempre es bueno que practiquemos con el vocabulario que ya tenemos o que vamos viendo en las clases o en la plataforma. Una forma de, de aprender más vocabulario es teniendo un, un cuaderno, una libreta, un documento en Google Docs, en lo que ustedes quieran, en su teléfono, en las notas, donde ustedes anoten ca cada vez que puedan el vocabulario nuevo que van aprendiendo. Eso es lo mejor. Sí. Entonces, va aprendiendo. Sí. Ahorita que son beginners, tiene la palabra y puede tener la traducción. O la palabra y un dibujo que, que sea similar a lo que usted quiere entender. Ok. Pero eso con el tiempo lo va a ir logrando. So, don't worry. No crea que siempre va a ser así. <risa> okay. Sí. ¿Alguien más? ¿A todos les fue bien? Ya estuve viendo sus, sus participaciones en la plataforma. Ya las vamos a ver también aquí. Right? Ok, good. So, are you ready to start the class? ¿Ya estamos listos? ¿Sí? Yes, yes I am ready. Ok, very good. So, we, we're going to start with a small practice here. Quiero ver si se acuerdan de lo que hicimos la semana pasada. So, let's see the practice. We have a calendar. Uy, me está asustando. We have a calendar here that says read Beth calendar. Let's talk about her plans, right? Can you see that? Yes. Can you see it? No? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. So in here we have different like days of the week, right? Jorge, can you please read the days of the week that we have here? Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Saturday, very good, very good. And which month is, there? It is this? This is? Which month is this? June. 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 It's June. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. So this is June. So this calendar is for this month, right? So we have in June different activities that Beth is going to complete. Right? Beth is going to make all these activities here, right? Some of these activities are this, right? Can you see the activities? For example, on on the second, we have play golf after work, right? What do we have on the on the third, Marielos? Marielos, hi. Repeat, please, teacher. What do we have on the third? 
What activity? And what do we have on the third? Uh, Tuesday, have lunch with Tony. Have lunch with Tony, very good. What is this activity on the seventh, William? She's gonna go shopping with Julie. Go shopping with Yuli, very good. So what we're going to do very quickly, vamos a hacer esto bien rápido. We're going to practice right now. We're going to practice with the dates, right? We're going to practice with the dates, be going to and activities, right? That we, that we have here. So look at number one, right? On number one, can you read number one, Claudia, for me on June 2nd? Claudia. Ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> Solo que no lo entendí muy bien. Lo que pregunté. Lea, lea la número uno. On June 2nd. Ah, ok. Um, on June. June. Sec, June 2nd. Second. Second. She is going to play golf after work. After work. Ok, very good. So we go to the calendar here and we see. Right, June 2nd, play goal afterwards. So we're going to combine this information. So on June 3rd, what do you think is going to be the answer for June 3rd? On June 3rd, she... What do you think the answer is? Yes? She's gonna have lunch with Tony. She's gonna have lunch with Tony. Very good. She's gonna have lunch with Tony. Thank you, William. What do you think is number seven? Yo le voy a decir el número. Y ustedes me dicen la fecha para que ustedes practiquen las fechas. Yo practico los números y ustedes practican las fechas. Fernando, what is number seven? Uh, going to shopping with Julie. On June? On June? How do you say this, this date? Go shopping with Julie. Okay, the, the demo de, de, de dar la respuesta completa, right? On June 7th. Okay, I, I gonna no, shopping Beth, with Julie. Beth. Beth. Uh -huh, Beth. On June 7th, estamos hablando de una persona que tiene un calendario y una actividad que ha planificado ah. para el mes, right? Remember yes. that the... Future is for plans, for activities que ya se han planificado. ¿Se recuerda que le mencioné eso? Yes. Entonces, eh, mm. Fernando, necesito que me haga la oración acá con la misma estructura que tenemos acá. On June, on June 7th, she going to shopping with Julie. She's going to go shopping with Julie. Very good. Very good, Fernando. Very good. <laughs> Let's see here, Patty. Patty Ramirez. Let's tell me about number 13. On June. Patty. Hola, hola. Uh, perdón, ahorita me voy conectando. Okay. So listen to the example y después, y después va a participar. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Margarita. You're welcome. Number okay. 13. On June 13, she's going to go to some party. Nice. That's perfect. You see? National. Very good. So let's see another participant. Uh, Bane Peña. Tell me about 24. Okay. Uh, on June 24th, she is going to buy Paula's birthday present. Very good. Is it? Easy. And let's see the person that is missing. You may have just acabado de conectar y no participate. Patty? Ready? Patty, number 16. On June, on June, mm -hmm. second, she's going. On June 16, mire lo que estoy señalando. On June, on June 16, 
Oh, perdón. Of you system. She is going. Uh -huh. She's going to do what? Look at the activity. She movie with Tony. She's going to see a movie with Tony. Mm -hmm. One more She's time. Going Hi, Patty. Una ¿Perdón? vez más, una vez más, Patty. A que no salga bien. Okay. On June 16, she's going to see a movie with Tony. With Tony, very good. You see? Easy, right? Very good. Okay. So, these are the activities that we have, right, that we can actually have with the use of be going to, right? With be going to. So, let's see another activity here. Because you were supposed to practice, right? So tell me about holidays, right? What are the holidays that you remember? ¿De qué holidays se acuerdan que vieron el video? Tenían que ver un video. New Year's. New Year's, okay. That was Mario, right? New Hello. Year's. New Year's, Indep very good. Independence Day. Halloween, Independence Day. Independence Day. What else? Mm -hmm. Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. Valentine's Day, okay. It's okay. It is. Valentine's Day. Thanksgiving. Valentine's Day and Thanksgiving. Okay, that's delicious. Thanksgiving. Very good. We have these holidays. This is what we have. New Year's, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, Halloween. Uy, esa imagen está mal. Tiene que ser Halloween, H-A, H-A, right? Halloween, no Halloween. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then we have the dates, right? So what are some examples that we can use with holidays? Right? We know that New Year's Day is on January 1st, right? But what are some activities that you can do in, on holidays? Using these holidays and using going to. For example, I can say on, I'm going to eat um, turkey on Thanksgiving, right? I'm going to eat turkey with my family on Thanksgiving. So what are some activities that you can do with these holidays? Let's see. Mario, do you have anything in mind? Tiene alguna, algún ejemplo? ¿Qué actividades pueden hacer en estos holidays? Uh, I am going to invite our family uh -huh. um, for Thanksgiving. Okay, very good. I'm going to invite all my family for Thanksgiving. That's expensive, Mario. Okay, very good. But that's a good answer. Very good. So what do you have another example here? Ya vi que escribieron sus ejemplos en la plataforma. Pero díganme otros ejemplos acá. O los que escribieron ya. ¿Qué más escribieron? Carla? Um, in... Independence Day, I'm mm -hmm. going to see the band. Okay, very good. On Independence Day, I'm going to see the bands. Very good. Um, it's Independence Day, the same date here in El Salvador and in the United States. Is it the same date? Tiene la misma fecha? No, no, no. No, it's not the same. Very good. Look at the picture. In the United States, right, usually what they do on Independence Day is that they have fireworks, right? Tienen cuetes. Lo que hacemos en Christmas, they do that on Independence Day, right? So it's different. Lo que hacemos nosotros en Navidad es lo hacen en Independencia y así, right? 
Okay, what about Thanksgiving? Tell me something about, no, tell me something about uh, Valentine's Day. Sonia, your example. Did you watch the video? Yes. Um, it's, I am, I am going to mm -hmm. in, celebrate in my friend. Okay, I am going to celebrate my, my Valentine's friends. Day with my friends, okay? I am going to celebrate Valentine's Day my, with my friends. Very good. Like this. I am gonna, gonna. celebrate Valentine's Day. Valentine Day is my friend. With my friends. Very good. That's an example. Good. So we have there some examples, right, with Valentine's Day. So we're going to do a small with conversation. We're going to do a small conversation here. Help me out. Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I do. Thank you, Susan. Sonia, sorry. And Johnny, are you there? Do you Johnny? Celebrate? Johnny? No? Jorge? Help me out, Jorge. Can you please read these questions? Do you celebrate any of these holidays? Explain. Very good. So we have the first question. It says, do you celebrate any of these holidays? Like Thanksgiving, New Year's. You can say, yes, I do. Or, mm -mm, I don't. No, I don't. Right? And you can give more information like, I love celebrating Christmas, Christmas with my family. But in El Salvador, we celebrate Christmas on December 24th. Right? Or, for example, Sonia puede decirnos, uh, do you celebrate any of these holidays? Yes, I do. I celebrate Valentine's Day with my friends. Right? Very easy. Now, Jorge, read the second question. Uh, what are some holidays in your country? Very good. We have, for example, uh, some holidays in my country are Valentine's Day and Holy Week. Right? Do you know what Holy Week is? Seven kids Holy Week? Seven kids Holy Week, no? Semana Santa. Semana Santa. Very good, very Semana good. Santa. Very good, Mariela and William. Very good. So we have Semana Santa, right? And the last question says, What's your favorite holiday? What's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Christmas. Right? That's for me, right? What's your answer? Vamos a practicar estas preguntas. Y estas respuestas bien sencillas las vamos a practicar en grupo. Se las voy a enviar ahorita mismo al grupo de WhatsApp para que todos las tengan. Y le voy a enviar también el calendario. Yes. yes. Eh, no. Tuve un contratiempo y me acabo de conectar. No sé qué es lo que estaban viendo. We're working with holidays in the U.S., Samuel. Ok. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahorita les estoy enviando holidays in, in the U.S. Y les voy a enviar también la, el calendario de Beth. Se los voy a enviar porque necesito que tengan vocabulario. Y que no tengan el vocabulario que a ustedes les parece nuevo y que puedan practicar. ¿Ok? So, what are we going to do? Primero vamos a practicar las preguntas que les acabo de enviar al WhatsApp. Las vamos a practicar en parejas, vamos a tratar de trabajar en parejas y vamos a practicar las mismas preguntas con los ejemplos de las respuestas que, que estamos presentando ahí. Si tienen más información, más vocabulario, perfecto. Si no, nos vamos a quedar con, con los ejemplos que tenemos. We're going to stick to the examples that we have, right? Yes, I do. No, I don't. I love Christmas. I don't like Christmas. Uh, I like Thanksgiving, because there is a lot of food, right? Or things like that, right? What's your favorite holiday? And we continue, right? 
Is that clear? Yes? No? Maybe? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. So, we're going to work in pairs. Quizá los grupos lo vamos a hacer esta vez de dos parejas o de tres a lo mucho. Sí, van a salir de dos parejas. Ya vamos a ver acá. De, de dos participantes, dos parejas. Qué loco. Dos participantes, cada uno para que trabajemos bien. ¿Ok? Vamos a practicar preguntas y respuestas. Traten de participar ambos y traten de hacerlo en inglés. Try to do this in English as much as you can. Right? Ok, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the groups, let's go to the groups. Very good. Josué, hi, welcome. Llegando, viene. Lo, lo voy a meter a un grupo ahorita y va a practicar una conversación que les acabo de enviar al WhatsApp. Usted es el que puso ahí clase, ¿verdad? Ajá, sí. Bueno, lo voy a poner a un grupo, permítame. Meter acá. Ok. Dele clic ahí, join the group. Samuel, please go to the group. Samuel también vaya a ese grupo, por favor. Samuel, can you hear me? Okay. Hi. Do you, have, do you have any questions? No, teacher. No? Yes. Only, only question. Something on the WhatsApp. Sí, sí. Ya se las envié. Las mismas que vimos aquí en la clase son las que vamos a practicar ahorita. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Practice, please. Okay. Uh, Clarissa, what are what are some holidays in your country? Um, some holiday in my country are um, um, party party the the city, como las fiestas de la ciudad. Ah, uh, Saint Patrick's Day. Uh huh. Las fiestas patronales. Saint uh -huh. Pat on. Like sometimes we say Saint pa Saint Patrick's Day, or we just say the traditional festivities. Uh, tra uh -huh. Traditional festivities. Festivities. Okay, good. You have it there on the chat. Okay, Clarissa. Do you yeah. have questions? No. 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 Any questions? Nos dejo siendo felices, entonces, bye. <risa> sí. Pregunto yo, usted me contesta. <risa> eh, yo contesto. Ah, Súper bien. Do you celebrate any of these holiday explain? Yes, I do. I do. I, I do. do. Exactly. Yes, Very I good. do. Yes, no, I, I do. don't. No, I don't. I love to celebrate Christmas with my family, but in El Salvador we celebrate Christmas on December 24th. Very good. And what's your what's your answer? Your personal answer. Esa es mi respuesta. ¿Cuál sería la suya? No le tiene que ser así tan alto. Puede serla bien simple. Um, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. estos, estos son mis ejemplos. ¿Cuáles serían los ejemplos de ustedes? Necesito saber, por ejemplo, ah, yo digo que ser los de nosotros. Los de ustedes, exacto. Por ejemplo, Johnny, si yo digo, what's, you ask me, ask me the question, what's your favorite holiday? Uh, my favorite holiday is uh, the same. And day of father. <laughs> Oh, Father's Day, very good. Aunque no me, aunque no me celebran, pero bueno. 
<laughs> <laughs> but that would be Father's Day. Okay, good. So, for example, right, for me, it's Christmas because I spend time with my family. And what about you, Claudia? What's your favorite holiday? Christmas. Christmas. No le creo. Okay. <laughs> mamá. Ah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, sigan practicando con las otras, con las otras dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Con sus okay. respuestas y siguen el ejemplo de mis respuestas. Solo cambian ah, las okay. fechas, okay? Very good. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay. Ya casi vamos a terminar, ¿ok? Okay. okay. Hi. Hi. Are we practicing here? Yes? Yes. Yes. Did you finish? Yes. Very easy. Very good. Ya casi terminamos. Un minuto nos queda. Okay? Okay. okay. Very good. Thank you. Oh, how was the practice? Good? It was good. It was good? Yes. Okay, very good. So we practice we practice holidays. But I needed to practice also. We're going to work with other words. Today I needed to practice with um, other questions to get more information from other people, right? So today we're going to practice with WH questions, right? With WH questions, we're going to work with this. Did you watch the video on the platform? You don't have video on the platform? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, very good. Yes, I do. Okay, very good. <clears throat> so with WH questions, we're going to work with this. These are the most common, so las más utilizadas. Who, what, when, which, where, how, and why, right? So to develop this class, we have two objectives here. Tenemos dos, dos objetivos que vamos a cumplir, dos propósitos que tenemos que cumplir, right? Can you see, can you read these objectives here, uh, Margarita? Some objectives. Mm, objectivos. Margarita? Teacher, no le, no le entendí muy bien. Can you read the objectives? Puede leer los objetivos. Ah, ok. Hmm? By the end of this class. Teacher, no guardo pantalla. You cannot see it? Uy, qué locura. No, yo tampoco no la veo. ¿Ahora? Yes. Ver, en, en inglés, sí. tengo yes. que leerlas en inglés o en español. Both. Both. Las dos. Ok. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's try. No lo va a hacer perfecto, así que no se preocupe. Ok. By, by the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer Mm, WH education using be going to additionally you will practice some conversation which illust I don't know illustrates <laughs> illustrates illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting al final de esta clase ustedes serán capaces de formular y responder preguntas interrogativas Usando be going to, adicionalmente ustedes practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo este tema es utilizado en un escenario de la vida real. Very good. So you see, si lo hizo bien, más que estaba afligida. Okay, good. So we have uh, WH questions, right? So with WH questions, I want you to, to take a look at this, right? 
We have WH questions and we have the words who, what, when, where, why, and how. Okay. Estas son las palabras que quiero que, 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 que vamos a tratar de recordar y vamos a entender el significado de cada uno. Okay. Para utilizarlas con Vigo in chat. Pero al inicio necesito que, que me ponga atención. Right? So with who, we're going to use who to ask for a person, right? That's what we're gonna do, to ask for a person. Like, for example, who is your, who is your teacher, right? And then you say, Sylvia is my teacher. So you're asking for a person, right? Or if you use what, right? For example, we're asking for, in this case, for thing, for one thing or for different things. What? Uh, we, we ask you, uh, what's your name, right? ¿Cuál es la cosa que estamos preguntando ahí? Estamos preguntando por el nombre, right? So we use what for a thing or an action. Then we use when. When is for time, right? So we can ask for a period of time. We can ask for a day or for a date, for a month, for a year. For example, if I ask you, uh, William, when is Independence Day in the U.S.? Independence Day in the U.S. is going to for June it's, 4th. It's on July 4th. It's Very good. July. So, entonces, en este caso, lo que yo estoy interesado es en, en el que estoy preguntando. Son preguntas que me van a dar información. Right? So, when is Independence Day? It's on July 4th. So what I'm asking is for the date, right? The time. So where? Where is for places? If I ask you, for example, uh, where do you live, right? I can say, uh, Clarissa, where do you live? Clarissa, where do you live? What? Where do you live, Clarissa? Um, I live in Arsa City. Okay, very good. I live in RCC. Very good. And then we have the question why, right? Why is asking for reasons, right? I can say, why do you live in Arce City? Hmm, ¿por qué vives ahí? ¿Por qué vives en Ciudad Arce? Right? Why are you studying English? Why are you taking classes at 9 p.m.? Right? And then we also have the word how, right? With how, we can use how to ask for a process or the way something is done, right? How, for example, how do you make uh, a spaghetti? Necesito saber el proceso de cómo se hace el spaghetti, right? Cómo se hace, ¿Cuál es el, cómo, cómo se completa esta acción. O si quiero preguntar números, right? How is the number, for example? How many pupusas do you eat? Every day, I eat one pupusas. Or how many pupusas do you eat on Saturdays? I eat five pupusas, right? So I'm asking for a number. But in that case, I need to use the word many, how many, right? Tenemos alguna pregunta acá, hasta el momento? Teacher and the yes. WH, which oh, that's we the, can use? That's the next one, yes. <laughs> With which, right? When we use which, William, we pretty much are we're using two options. For example, I can ask you, right, which which cell phone brand do you like? Sorry, which cell phone brand do you like? They have Samsung or iPhone. Right, what are my two options? Samsung or iPhone, right? Or I can ask, which is your favorite color? Black or blue? Right, so I'm giving you options when we have wish. Cuando tenemos wish, no es tan usado wish, pero usualmente se, se utiliza cuando tenemos opciones, cuando estamos dando opciones de cosas. Tenemos dos opciones. ¿Cuáles son las opciones que estamos dando acá? Samsung is one option, iPhone is another option, right? 
And then we have the other one that is whose. Right? With whose, we're asking for possession. Is algo le pertenece or no? We can say, whose, whose mug is this? This is Sylvia's, right? So we're asking for who is the owner? The king her proprietario is whose mug is this, right? So we're asking right now, who is the owner? Can her proprietary? Oh, Sylvia, right? So that's what we have. We have questions with who, what, when, where, why, how, and also we have with which and whose, right? Esos son los que tenemos. Tenemos, sí. Sir, a the question, which, para entender es el cual en español. ¿Cuál o okay. qué? Puede ser cuál o okay, qué, si usted lo va a traducir. Pero traten de no traducirlo mucho, porque si no, se va, van, a, van a hablar con palabras en inglés, pero el significado va a ser en español, entonces no, no le van a entender mucho. Tienen que ah. pensar en solo en inglés. Pero sí, esa sería como la traducción más literal que usted puede tener. Mm -hmm. Which, you, ¿Cuál o okay. qué? Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Any questions about... Sí, yes. sir. Mm -hmm. eh, the pronunci pronunciation eh, is which? 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 La pronunciación de which es which. which. Sí, which. Which. Y Samuel, Samuel, trate de no pronunciar tan fuerte la CH acá, which, porque si no se oye como que está diciendo acá esta palabra. Y es totalmente ah. distinta. Esta palabra que, te, que podemos ver acá. No sé si la pueden ver ahorita. Esta palabra que acabamos de pronunciar aquí tiene otro significado. Entonces tenemos que tener mucho cuidado porque esa palabra significa this. We have this. No which. This is a which. Right? Entonces tenemos que no pronunciar tanto esta T cuando estamos en which. Which is your favorite color? Pero si decimos which, estamos hablando de brujas. Right? Oh, uh, okay. mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're talking about uh, brujas, right? Witches, right? Es bien, bien pequeña la, la diferencia, but we have to be very careful. Okay? Yes. Very good. Okay. Any questions? ¿Tenemos preguntas sobre esto? ¿Cuál sería no? la traducción al español de who's? ¿Quién es el dueño de? ¿Quién es el propietario? ¿A quién le pertenece? La, la traducción no puede ser solamente una palabra. Entonces, de, como el referente a una palabra en concreto, sino que puede ser, un, la, por ejemplo, aquí puede ser, ¿Quién es el dueño de este mug? Whose, whose mug is this? Oh, it's Silvia's. Ah, la dueña de este mug es Silvia. Entonces, pues, ¿Quién es el propietario? ¿Quién es el dueño? ¿A quién le pertenece? Esa sería como la traducción de Hus. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. <laughs> ok, any questions? More questions? Pregúntenme. Si vieron el video, me tienen que preguntar. Teacher, eh, uh -huh. who, who, así se pronuncia, who. Yes, who. Who, who. what, when, where, Why in how? Why? Uh, how? 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 Yes. How? Okay. Very good. <laughs> More questions? No? No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay. So let's let's go ahead. Yes, Samuel. Te va a mandar este ese ejemplo al WhatsApp. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I can okay. see here some of the examples that we have from, uh, for, now this is holidays, right, good. We also have examples with WH questions, right? So we have examples here with you, for example, Lester. Right, we have examples here that says, what are you going to do for Halloween? Right, very good. I'm going to sleep early. I'm not going to eat candies. Very good. Positive and negative. Can you see the example? Pueden ver el ejemplo de Lester. 
What are you going to do for Halloween? I'm going to sleep early. I'm not going to eat candies, right? Or we can ask here, for example, here, Williams, where are you going to go for August holidays? That's El Salvador. Very good. I'm going to go to the amusement park with my friends, right? Very good. So we have WH questions here. Now, we're going to watch the video quick, and then we're going to make another practice. Vamos a ver el video, y luego vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica. Okay, con un ejercicio que tengo preparado. Are you ready? Are you ready for the video? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes. Yes. No, me duermo. No se duermo. Okay, good. So let's, let's watch the video here. Me dicen si le escuchan, por favor. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to ask and Lo pueden escuchar? Yes. Yes, 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 yes teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Vamos a ver rapidito. Answer. WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation title have a good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject, you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb, get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi everyone. Okay, so we have there the example of WH questions that you should have watched at home, right? So here we're going to, who, who can tell me the formula that, that he mentioned on the video? What's the formula? He mentioned a formula, like a way to create the, the questions. 
WH. The formula is WH word. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. Mario, Mario. WH word plus? Plus verb to be. Verb be. Plus okay. subject. Plus subject. Plus going to. And complement. Plus verb. Plus complement. Plus verb. Plus complement. Is that it? What else do I need to make it a question yes. at the end? What do I need at the end? Question mark. A question mark. Okay, very good, very good. So this is this is the basic form, right, that we have for to create these WH questions using going to. Right, if you see here, right, we use be going to and we, then we use it to ask information about plans, right? So we want to have more information about these plans that these people are going to perform. Look at the example, right? What Mario was saying, WH plus B plus subject plus going to plus verb plus complement, right? So we have, where are you going to eat? So I can ask you, where are you going to eat after this class, Josue? Where are you going to eat? ¿Qué estoy tratando de preguntar a Josué? What, what, am, I, what am I trying to ask? <clears throat> okay, very good. So I want to know the place, right? I want to know the place. That's what I'm using where. Right? Where yeah. are you going to eat after this class? Or I can ask him, who are you going to eat with after this class? If I ask who, I'm asking for a person. Right? ¿Con quién vas a comer después de la clase? Right? Bien tóxica la pregunta, pero bien. Who are you going to eat with after this class? Right? So, do we understand the way that we make these questions here? Right? Some of them, look at the first example. We don't have complement. Right? Where are you going to eat? Ah, I'm going to eat uh, the food court in Metro Centro. Right? Or I can say, where are you going to eat in your lunch hour tomorrow? Oh, I'm going to eat in the kitchen because I work at home. Voy a comer en la cocina porque aquí trabajo en la casa. Right? Entendemos la, form la, la forma en que estas preguntas están, se tienen que crear. Eh, teacher, y para contestar, ¿cómo sería? So, if I ask you here, right, and listen, uh, Samuel, I'm going to ask, let's see, tell me out, uh, William. William. Yes, teacher. Where are you going to eat? I'm going to eat on my kitchen. Okay, on my kitchen, mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. So, Samuel, right, what you're going to do to answer these questions is that you're going to use the same formula that we used before. La misma fórmula okay. que utilizamos anteriormente para hacer las oraciones con be going to son las mismas, es la misma que vamos a utilizar. Lo único que hoy le vamos a agregar la información extra que nos están pidiendo. Right? So if I have this one, very good question. I have where are you going to eat? That's the question, right? Vamos a ver acá. Permítame un segundo. Gonna make this bigger. Más lo más grande. Pueden ver? Yes, teacher. Entonces Samuel pregunta acá cómo se responde. Tenemos la primera. Estamos preguntando por esto. Esto es lo principal. Right? Tenemos be going to sí, pero eso ya lo podemos utilizar. Ahora estamos tratando de utilizar, hacer una combinación de las wh and be going to. Entonces tenemos acá. La respuesta de William. William, can you repeat your, your answer? Yes, teacher. I'm going to eat on my kitchen. Okay. In the kitchen. Okay. In the kitchen. Okay, okay very good. Porque si no, ya lo subí, ya lo vi subido en, en, en la cocina. 
Okay, on you, right? Tengo In the kitchen. <laughs> okay, good. So we have this. Look at this, right? We have subject plus verb be plus going to plus the verb. And this is the complement, right? Pero yo lo que quiero saber cuando estoy utilizando where, what I want to know when I use where, right, is this. This is what I want to know, the place, right? I can ask you also, right, who are you going to eat with, for example, right? I can ask here, who are you going to eat with? What am I trying to ask here? ¿Qué es lo que estoy tratando de preguntar, Samuel? ¿Cuál es la palabra principal acá? Uh, eat with. Who are you going to eat with? Who are you going to eat with? ¿Cuál es la palabra principal? Basémonos en el ejemplo que le acabo de explicar. Where are you going to eat? William contesta, I'm going to eat in the kitchen. Right? We're asking for a place. So now we have, who are you going to eat with? What is the answer? William, who are you going to eat with? Inventemos ahorita. Okay. Who are you going to eat with? I am going to. I am going to eat with my, my sister. With my sister, very good. Uh -huh. Con base en este ejemplo, Samuel. ¿Cuál es la palabra que yo debo de, de poner en rojo en esta oración? Uh, sería... Uh, eat, eat with my sister. With, okay, very good. My sister. Very good. My sister. My sister. My sister. That's the one, that's what I'm trying to do. Right. This, this is what I'm asking for. Si su oración si tiene... Subject plus verb be, plus going to plus eat plus the complement. So this is the complement, right? Pero del complemento, esto es lo que yo necesito saber. Con quién? Quién es la persona? En el complemento, esto es lo que yo necesito saber. In the kitchen. Si su complemento no tiene esa parte, quiere decir que no está bueno. Entendemos en el, el propósito de los WH questions hasta el momento? Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Para todos. Very good. ¿sí? Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 What's your question? ¿Cómo puedo diferenciar cuando está preguntando solo a una persona? Porque yo lo interpreté como que a todos nosotros nos estuviera preguntando quién va a comer en la cocina o quién más va a comer en la cocina. Oh, so in that uh -huh. case, William, it's different because if you are going to ask quién más, ¿verdad? Ay, eso no me gusta. Okay. Let, me, let me erase this. Okay. If I want to ask, ¿qué más? Right? So I need to ask, who else? This is the word that you need. Who else? ¿Qué más? Right. Who okay. else is okay. going to eat? Right? Who else General. is going to eat in the kitchen? And if you want to be more specific, who else is going to in the kitchen with William? Right? If you say, oh, uh, Marielos is going to eat in the kitchen with William. Claudia is going to eat in the mm -hmm. kitchen with William. Fernando is going to eat. And then we continue. Right? Okay. Everybody is going to eat with William. Right? If I don't have this word in the, in the, in the equation, it's only for, for no one person. One, who is the person? Yes, just one person. Uh, You're directing the question to, to one person. Uh, okay. Right. okay. Very Thank good. You, teacher. You're welcome. Or you can, if you want to, you can use who are you going to work with, for example. Usually, when we're using who, we use with. Usually, la mayoría de veces utilizamos with the con quién, queremos saber con quién. Entonces, who are you going to work with? 
¿Con quién? Esa es una pregunta que le hacen los profesores la mayoría de veces a los estudiantes. ¿Con quién vas a trabajar? Right? Who are you going to work with? Hay diferentes opciones. So we can say, I am going to work with Mario and Claudia. Right? I'm going to work with Mario and Claudia. I have two people. But I use the verb be in the plural form. Right? That's another way. Right? So I'm asking here for more people, for more information. So I have two people here. But the answer can be just one. Oh, I'm going to work with Mario. Only Mario? Yes, only Mario. Right? Si usted puede hacer la pregunta en plural, pero también le pueden responder solo en singular. ¿Ok? ¿Estamos claros hasta el momento? Mucho silencio, me da miedo el silencio. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. very good. Very good. Ok, very good. Sure. Yes? Yes. Estas well. preguntas también podemos ocupar los, con, la forma contra, contractada. La ¿Cómo sería la forma contractada? Sería, where are you going? Ya no decir, who are, sino que, mm. no sé si me explico. Yes, 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 you do. So, if I want to use are, you can't. Si quiero usarlo con are, no puede. Porque imagínense que llegamos a esta contracción aquí. Who, who. So, it's not, it's not correct, it's not possible, right? Right. So in this case, si tenemos el verbo to be en plural, no, no, no lo podemos hacer. But if you have this, who is going to visit you next week? Who is going to visit you next week? Si es con el verbo to be y es en, en singular, sí lo podemos hacer. Podemos hacer esta contracción. Who is going to visit you next week? Pero si es en plural, we can't. ¿Ok? Ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Ok. Casi nos quedan dos minutos. ¿Alguien más tiene preguntas para... Para... Um, para WH? Para... Para... Negativo. Sorry? Para respuestas negativas, teacher. You use on the negative form. I am not going to work. Look at this question, right? Who are you going to work with? Y como en este momento dice Claudia, no, yo no voy a trabajar con nadie. Right? Ah, yo voy a trabajar solita. Right? What is the negative form of this? ¿Cuál es la forma negativa? Not. I am not. Right? Very good. I am not. I am not going to work with another person. For example, right? So I tienen que poner la forma negativa acá y el complemento aquí al final. Right? Who are you going to eat with? I am not going to eat with anybody. I am going to eat alone, for example. Right? Entonces pueden poner la forma negativa. Las mismas formas negativas y positivas del verbo, bigo, de la forma verbal be going to, se mantiene. Eso no, no hay ningún problema. Es lo mismo. Lo nuevo aquí que le estamos agregando es WH questions. Estas son las palabras que necesito que, que ustedes internalicen, que ustedes practiquen. Entonces vamos a ver el video de nuevo mañana. Okay. Bueno, ustedes lo van a ver en sus casas para seguir practicando. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? No. Because tomorrow... We have exercises to do. We have a lot of exercises to practice here, right? In the class, we're going to make a lot of exercises. So I need you, I need to know if you have a question. Necesito saber si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor. No? Teacher, teacher, este, va a mandar los ejemplos al grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, como yes. yo me conecté ya tarde, este, no vi lo que habían visto ya anteriormente. Yes, I will. Please. Okay. okay. Very good. Okay. Somebody else? Tienen preguntas? Okay. Están shy ahora, están tímidos. ¿Alguna pregunta? No, teacher. No? Are you no sure? Question. 
No questions. Ok, vamos a seguir trabajando mañana con WH Questions porque son importantes para crear más conversaciones, para hablar más. Entonces, las Yes No Questions nos ayudan para saber sí o no, pero eso nos van a, nos van a servir para hablar, tener más información de, de algo, de algo que queremos saber. Por ejemplo, si yo les pregunto, are you a student? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Y ahí murió la conversación. ¿Correcto? Pero si yo les pregunto, are you a student? Yes, I am. Oh, who is your teacher? Sylvia is my teacher. Okay, what do you study? I am studying English. Where do you study? I am studying at English Corporativo. Why do you study English? Oh, I study English because I love the language, right? Se ven, si ven cuánta información podemos tener si utilizamos ese tipo de preguntas, ¿verdad? Entonces necesito que las vayamos practicando lo más que podamos. ¿Ok? Ok. 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 okay. You're welcome. So guys, it's been a pleasure. Right? Ya que no tienen preguntas, vamos a terminar acá. Eh, por favor, revisen el video mañana, tipo 11 de la mañana, ya va a estar en, en YouTube para que lo vean. Okay, si sí lo okay. pueden. Okay. okay, very good. You're welcome. Have a nice good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. <laughs>